After you register a rhinestone kit, you will unlock a collection of pre-designed patterns. In addition, a new set of tools is added to Canvas Workspace, giving you the ability to convert any shape into a rhinestone pattern. First, I will show you where these are and how to work with them in the online version, and then I will cover briefly where to find the tools in the tablet and installed editions. So first, let's take a look at the Pattern Library. In the Rhinestone section that has been added to the Pattern Library, we can see that we have a full alphabet in upper and lower case. This is followed by a range of designs that you can use throughout your creative adventures. You would add these to your cutting mat in the same way you add anything from the Pattern Library. Simply click on the design or click and drag. You'll notice, however, that the bounding box around pre-designed rhinestone patterns does not have the control handles. This is because they cannot be resized. To convert any other pattern from any source, including text, you would select the object go to the premium menu and then from the rhinestone set of tools choose the middle option which is the rhinestone wizard this then gives you five fill patterns the options change the stone sizes and various different spacing and angle options when you click ok the rhinestone pattern is applied to the shape Unlike the pre-designed patterns, if you resize this shape, Canvas Workspace automatically recalculates how many rhinestones it would need to fill that shape. You can see how many exactly by going to the premium menu and clicking on Show Rhinestone Count. This will then tell you the total number of each size of stone used in a given pattern. This is the same regardless of the shape that you are using. If you want to create a pattern by placing individual rhinestones, in the premium menu, we have a tool to do that. Select it and click wherever you would like to place a rhinestone. To change the size of the rhinestone being placed, go to the properties panel and choose one of the presets available. In the tablet edition of Canvas Workspace, the new pattern collection is available through the pattern library, as you would expect. The tools, however, are in the menu panel under Premium. And there we can see the same set of three tools available to us in the tablet edition. When using the installed version, the new pattern collection is still available through the pattern library. However, there is a small change to how the rhinestone wizard appears. It can now be found over on the right. Select a shape as you normally would, but rather than starting the wizard in a pop-up window, we use this drop-down box here to select the fill pattern. After the fill pattern has been applied, the spacing options appear below the drop-down box. We also have access to counting the number of rhinestones from here too. If we want to change the size of stones being used, we have a drop-down box to do that with at the top of that panel. The individual rhinestone tool has been separated out and placed over on the left. In addition, the context menu now has a drop-down to change the stone size and we have many more options to choose from than we did with the online or tablet edition. 